What's up everyone? John Renter from Techno Buffalo with an unboxing of the BlackBerry Z10. I know what you're saying. You guys already unboxed it and that's true. Todd was at the event in New York and it just got shipped out and arrived here and I didn't feel right opening it up without sharing it with you guys. So it's the second unboxing of the Z10. I'll share my impression about what it feels like to hold the phone. It has not been opened by me. I've not seen the Z10. So I'm really curious what the phone feels like, how the operating system behaves and all that kind of goodness. So if you want some more BlackBerry action, stick around. So I just felt weird opening up a new phone box and not sharing it with you guys. So here is the box, the BlackBerry Experience, redesigned, reimagined, reinvented. And what they should say in small print is the last hope for BlackBerry. You can also play a game and count the amount of times I probably say RIM instead of BlackBerry. This is my first time seeing the phone. You know, we've seen BlackBerry 10 on alpha device and beta devices, but never actually seen the phone myself. So I'm kind of excited. Here is the box, it says Z10, Z10, however you want to call it. Sort of in glossy on the box, have that soft touch feel. We will open this guy up, see if it's got Todd Hazelton's fingerprints all over it. Boom. Boom again. Boom, there is the BlackBerry Z10 sitting in a fake velvet little thing there. Push it off to the side. First blush, it feels pretty good uh, in the hands, but we'll spend much more time on that guy in just a minute. As much as it pains me, I'll push it off to the side for just a moment. This is obviously not going to be the retail packaging you get whenever it comes uh, to your carrier or your country. Um, so, if you're a BlackBerry fan, this is gonna be a welcome sight. You got a BlackBerry pouch, but no belt hook on this, so dads, you're gonna have to look elsewhere. Uh, we've got some BlackBerry card, phone numbers, Z10 smartphone booklets. We've got some headphones, that'll be a welcome addition with a noise canceling uh, mic in there and volume controls. We also have a micro USB cord uh, for charging. Blackberry Z10 start here, a cloth for cleaning, and a little wall wart for charging. But that's not why you're here. Let's take a look at this guy. I'm very excited uh, to see this. I've been uh, looking forward to this for quite a while. So let me go ahead and run through the specs and I'll power it on and see if it's got enough juice uh, to run. Uh, so you're looking at a 4.2 inch diagonal screen with a pretty chunky bezel uh, and chin down here below, but I suppose you need that little bit of an area for gesture. Uh, it's got a resolution of 768 by 1280. That's good for 355 PPI. And what I haven't heard many people say about the BlackBerry 10, they're not really mentioning on the spec sheets, is that beneath the glass is actually a heat sensor. Um, and as you type, it'll learn where your touch points are. And if you accidentally hit the O key and you meant to hit the P key, it'll learn. Actually, it'll move that over uh, virtually, which is pretty neat. So I'm excited to use the keyboard on here. It looks like we don't have enough juice uh, to turn it on. Uh, what's powering this is a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon processor, augmented with two gigs of RAM, and augmented is my big vocabulary word of the day. Uh, 16 gigs of internal storage, but you can expand that with micro SD. We've got a 8 megapixel camera on the back with an LED flash, uh, 2 megapixel sensor living right there on the front. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, 5.12 inches by 2.58 by 0.35, weighing up pretty nice uh, 4.83 ounces. It's got an 1800 milliamp hour battery. That BlackBerry claims, and I almost said rim there, it's gonna give you 312 hours of standby or 10 hours of talk time, but I'm super dubious. All right, so let's do a tour of the device, shall we? On the left-hand side, hard to tell which one's which. One of these is micro uh, HDMI, and one of those is going to be your charging and syncing port. I can probably guess which one's which. Uh, on the bottom, We've got a noise canceling mic right there and a little bit of an outlet to pull the plastic back. We'll look at that in just a second. Continuing our tour, we've got a volume rocker up and down and uh, you've got a soft key in the middle, uh, which I believe by default is for music control to, uh, to stop uh, the music, at least if I remember from previous Blackberries. On the top, noise canceling mic, there's your power and lock button, sort of located kind of inconveniently right in the middle. 3.5 millimeter headset jack. The back, we've got the BlackBerry logo. Uh, sort of a soft touch textured feel to it. Uh, despite having an all plastic back, it seems to be sitting pretty flush with the battery, so you don't sort of have um, any sort of push when you push it in. So it feels almost like the battery is sealed in. But of course, as we can see right here, and this flimsy plastic back, it is not. But what we can see on that flimsy plastic back is NFC radio. Also a very oddly shaped battery. 
through long and narrow. Um, you can see where the micro SD card is going to go. Uh, this guy that we have here is unlocked and I believe has support for AT&T's uh, LTE uh, radios. The battery here, in case you're wondering, is the LS1, but I'm not sure it's going to work in any other uh, Blackberries quite yet. We'll put this back on. So I'm really excited to try this, to use it, to learn a new operating system. It's not something I get a chance to do very often. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Uh, I'm hoping that Blackberry's uh, got some juice left in the berry. I'm going to milk that joke until it doesn't have any juice left. Uh, and this could be the savior uh, that the Waterloo based company is looking for. So what do you guys think about Blackberry 10? What do you want to see us cover, not cover, and all that kind of stuff? And as we usually do with phones, we are not going to rush our review. Uh, we'll put the review out when I feel like I know the phone well enough, not to put it out quickly just to get uh, to get the views. So hopefully uh, I'll get a chance to use this and learn it and get the review out sooner rather than later. But stay tuned. Anything you want to see feature-wise, uh, be sure to let us know. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.